Today I'm showing you how I made salt dough starfish in a recent DIY for a lettered project. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today. This is Junker Necker and my name is Leo. This project was inspired by Antoinette of Simple Yet Chic. She recently made some starfish for her coastal theme decor and I wanted to recreate this. So, her recipe is one cup salt, two cups all-purpose flour, and one cup of warm water. I used one of my larger mixing bowls so I could knead all of this together well. I only had coarse salt at home, but it actually worked out very well for a grainy texture for the starfish. Then I'm just making star shapes. They don't have to be perfect. And just bring out your inner child and play with it till you have a shape that you like. Now I've got this on a piece of parchment paper on my old crafting cookie sheet. I just flipped them over and over until I had a shape that I was happy with. Then I added some little bits of the dough on this one to give it more texture. And press that down into it. Then I took the tip of my scissors and just puncture it along, making more texture on the starfish. Starfish are not exactly symmetrical in nature, so you don't have to be symmetrical with yours. Now this one I just made some little wormy lines and put that raised area in the middle of the starfish. And again with the tip of my scissors. And then I'm showing you how I made a different kind, making the big wormy shapes and getting five points together and pressing it flat, flipping it and pressing it. then textured up with my scissors. Once I had six of the starfish made in various sizes, I had this much of the dough left over. I probably used less than half. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator and see if I can store it for later. I'll keep you posted on that. Now I put these in the oven and baked them for two hours at 250 degrees. Then I came in with some of my apple barrel paints and the Key West pool blue and white. And I'm just doing a slight dry brushing on the starfish. didn't even pour the paint out on anything. I just reached into the cap of the paint. I just wanted to add a little bit of a pop of color, even though the natural color looks well for starfish. I did the white color first. On this one, I'm just going down that raised area in the center. And then I moved on to the Key West. Again, going into the cap just to get a little bit on the brush to dry brush onto the starfish. And 
next for the pool blue. I really love these colors for a nautical theme. Coastal, beachy, beach old. I had a little bit left on my brush of the last blue color, so I just went back into the center of that first larger one that I did. And that's how they're looking after this step. I decided to add a little bit of sparkle. I'm a plaid ambassador and they sent me this sparkle Mod Podge to try and I thought this was the perfect project to bring this out. I didn't want heavy glitter but I did want a slight shimmer like they had just come out of the water or maybe still underwater and I'm just doing a light brushing on all of these putting a dollop of the Mod Podge in the center of the star and working that out to the tips. I have to say, this step made all the difference. It's got just the right amount of shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? I really love how these turned out. And I'm going to be using the salt dough for some more projects coming up. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe for more budget decor ideas.